let me introduce our next presenter, so Xi'an Li from Beijing University. Please welcome Xi'an. Hello, I'm Xi Han Li um, from Peking University. I'm a master's student, and today my topic is about one-shot learning with neural Turing machines. Um, first, I would like to introduce why I choose this topic. It, this sounds not very familiar, but you. But I think some. But I think sometimes the large-scale deep learning, which which we we were very very familiar, it. In fact, this is not so natural because we humans, in fact, we do not learn things like the large-scale deep learning. For example, we never know how to classify numbers by reading thousands of images and labels such as MList. But we just use a f maybe we just use a few of images or labels, and we can get the good 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 result. So. I, w I am very interested in the model that's related to cognition mechanism of humans. Mm, the first part is about working memory. Mm, we, we all know that we humans have working memories in our brain, and uh, in fact, there are some models that add external memory metrics to, mo to their models, and this is very similar to our humans. And the second is meta learning. It is not just end to end brute learning, but trying to understand the data and learn some kind of ability. I will explain this later. And I think these, these, are, these are some more natural ways to learn, and it will clo be closer to the ultimate goal of strong AI. And this is the roadmap. And first, I, I implement a neural Turing machine and the success in copying strings, this text. And the second, I apply a modified NTM model, which is called MANN to one shot learning. And it is also very successful, and I will explain it in, the, in, in this presentation. First, the part one is about neural Turing machines. Mm, first, first, I would like to introduce a very simple text which is called copy text. It, it is just input a random sequences of k bit vectors and to the sequence module, and the sequence module should output the same, just the same as input. And we should notice that here, here we have no input when the network is outputting. This, this is very important. And, how, and we all know LSTM and how LSTM performs in this text. In fact, LSTM performs very bad. Mm, with, with over, with over 13,000 sequences of training, and the copy loss is still very high. And so we should consider mm, what kind of char char characteristics should the model have to success in this test. So consider how we humans deal with such kind of copy text. For example, if I tell you a sequence of string, for example, I tell you uh, maybe a phone number, and you need to repeat the phone number, and how will you mm, <coughs> do this test? Mm, you you will notice that you have a working memory in your brain, and you will you will memorize the phone number I told you to your working memory, and then repeat it from just from your working memory. And in fact, we can also add a external memory matrix to the RNN, and it has just works as like. Mm, working memory of humans, and how sh how can we connect the traditional RNN to the memory matrix? Uh, in fact, we use some read and write right hand. Th it is the idea from Turing machines. So this is so this model is called a neural Turing machine, and RNN just performs as a as a controller of Turing machines. And then I will give some details about neural tuning machine. This is the traditional RNN, which we were very familiar, and there is the memory metric. How can we connect it? First, 
we will output the result. This is very mm, trivial. And then the output will generate some parameters of read and write head. And these par parameters will control how to read and write the memory. First, we, ge we, ge we generate write hand. It makes some modification to the memory. And second, we read we generate some read head. It gets some data from memory. And uh, here we have the read vectors. And finally, the read vector will, will <coughs> with the input, will be fitted into the RNA, and this will be a circle. And we have, we have a, and then I, I would like to introduce how can we generate an address of memory by the controller. We know that if we want to read or write a memory in computer organization, we must have an address. It means where we will read or where we will write. And the, the, con and the controller will, first the controller will generate a query vector of k and then we will calculate the cosine similarity of this of this vector to all the vectors in memory MT. And then we will generate, and with a soft, softmax layer, we will generate a addressing vector. Um, in traditional computer organization, the, we, will have, we will have some location or, or pointers to the memory. This can be seen as a one hot vector to read or write the memory. But in neural tuning machines, we will just have a general mm, distribution of, <coughs> and uh, we use these differential ways to read and write memories. And uh, this is called the content-based addressing because, because we need to calculate the, the similarity and then and then we know, th and then we have an interpolation and uh, shift ways, and we have a rotation. You can just simply mm, think that this is uh, this is just an offset of the addressing vector. You mean that mm, you just shift it from right or right, right, right or left, and this is called the location-based addressing. <laughs> And then we get the final addressing vector. And when, and when we have an addressing vector, we can do some read and write to the <laughs> memory. Re for reading, it is just it, 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 it is just um, using these vectors and as ways to for all the locations. And the writing is. It, it is very similar. You need to notice that the, these two vectors is also generated by controllers, which is similar to K. Okay, this is the result. Mm, for the copy for the copy text, you can see that the and this is the right hand. This is the read hand. You can find that NTM in fact learns the algorithm of copying. First, they the write the, 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 it writes the data sequentially to the memory, and then it reads the data sequentially from the memory and out and just output it. And uh, this this mm, this means that the, it learned it learns the algorithm of copy, no matter what the sequence this is. And this is the performance. It is very effective and. Uh, and accurate. You can notice that the copy, the loss function is nearly zero with, uh, with just a few sequences of learning. Compared to LSTM, this is much more better. Okay, then we enter part two, one short learning using NTM. Maybe some people are not very familiar with one short learning and then I will give an example of, of one short classification. First, you can find 
here is the here is an image, and and now I need someone to just randomly guess a label of these images from one, two, three. Is there someone who want to guess a sequences? A uh, guess a label? Yes, one, two, three. One, two, three. Just guess one. Two, two three. three. Okay. In fact, the in fact the the label is two. Yeah. Mm, some 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 people got got the right answer, and uh, then you 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 need to guess the second images the label of second images. Is there someone who want to guess from one to three? Oh, you can't guess two because you know. <laughs> yeah. So yes, this is this is label one. In fact, this is one and then. This 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 is very similar. This is labels three. You know. So you have seen you have until now you have seen all the all the all the kind of labels only once, and then we have another images. Mm, what what is the label of these images? Two. Yes. Some somebody somebody have remembered that. Yeah. So at that time, you just do some one-shot learning, you know. Understand it? So, so this, this, what is the label of this? Three. Yes, it is three. So, what is this? Two. Yes. And and that is a two-shot learning, yes, because you have seen it <laughs> twice. <laughs> So this is the sequences, and uh, what have you learned through the process? Mm, mm, you, you, in fact, you you just learn what is the character, characteristic of these images just from a few data, very few, and uh, and here, what ability have you used during the learning process? In fact, you you will find that your brain have a uh, have an ability to connect images with labels, and uh, then the the things that we want the machine to do is just to get this kind of ability by learning, and we call this kind of with this kind of text with this kind of learning we call it meta learning. And this is the more formalized version of, of of the experiment, and we use this data set, and we have many classes, but only a few examples per class, per class, and this is, and this is the sequence of training, and just like the previous things that we have done, we input images, but output the label. And additionally, we input the previous label. Mm, we we input the previous label of of images on at time t. This means first let you try and then tell you the true label. Just what I have, we, what we have done. And this we will learn to get the ability to bind images with labels, no matter what images is. We just tell you some images, and then we give you this, and you need to know the label of the images by only a few instances. And this is one short learning. And here, I introduce the memory augmented neural networks, which is a modification to the NTM modules that I have introduced. Um, and uh, the difference is the the difference is that we only use content based addressing in reading because the because the the memorized because because the the classification text do not have sequential um, sequential dependence on each classes so we just use content based addressing and uh, when we and how do we write? Here we use a least recently user set. This is a very familiar, 
from, from their concept in memory ma management in computer organization. But how can we use these kind of techniques to the differential neural training machines? And uh, this might be a little tricky, but we can do it. First, we generate a usage weight, which means that the, the location that reads and writes heavily will have large weights, and those who do not read and write heavily will have just a small weight. And then, we use this usage weight to generate a least used weight. It means that we just set those who do not read or write um, frequently to one and the others to zero. Um, when here we st the location we set to one, it, it is just means that they are least used. And uh, finally, we generate right ways by the by the combination of right of 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 last right ways and uh, these least used ways. It means that we write to two kind of places. The first one is the last used locations. It is just here. And the, and the second part is the least used locations. It is just part of here. And the, the right way is just a combination of these two. And uh, these parameters is also generated by the controller. Now here is the result. And the uh, left is the performance of LSTM, and the uh, right is the performance of MANN. You will find that the MANN performs much more better than LSTM. Here, the, the left, the horizontal axis is, is, is batches, and the uh, vertical axis is percent of correct. Mm, and you will find that the MANN just performs performs mm, mm, here. It is nine. Mm, it is ninety-seven percent accuracy after ten times of uh, of instance. But but in LSTM, it have only seventy mm, se seventy mm, per percent. Yeah, and this is much much more better. Mm. And and here I just introduced my GitHub repositories. The detailed usage and result will in the README MD in my GitHub. And here I have I <coughs> I just I just use two classes to implement the NTM and MAN and they are just they are ready to use because. Mm, the usage is very similar to the LSTM still in TensorFlow. So if you want to use NTM or MAN, you just replace the LSTM still classes in your program to the NTM still or MAN still, and you can use it very conveniently. Yeah, it, these are just ready to use, and you can simply apply them in other programs. And the future works. Uh, I want to, in fact, I want to know how the data is encoded, stored, ex and extracted from the memory. And maybe it will be helpful to understand the mechanism of working memory of humans. And that's all. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Like, so, so how, how, how costly is that to calculate? 
Exactly. Yeah, like um, performance of, if we say performance over the stem cell <coughs> versus the other stem cell, is there any difference? Uh, yeah, you, 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 you mean that the cosine, the calculation of cosine similarity may, may be very slow. Yeah, uh, it's but in fact, in my training, I found that the NTM model is not, it, it, it's not much, it's not much more slower than LSTM. In fact, the, the, the time is maybe, maybe just one, maybe just 1.5 mm, per times to LSTM. It is not so, it is, it is not, not so, so slow if you use some techniques. <coughs> Of calculation to to, to calculate it. How much did, did you spend the time to train the model? Mm, for the first for for the first NTM model for for, for this model the time consists. In fact, it is, it is very quick. Maybe. Maybe just uh, several minutes. This oh. is very, this, this will be very fast. But in the second, but, but in the, but in the second, hmm. but, but, in, but in the second, is it, is that, but, but, in, but, but the second result is called, it, it, it is much more longer than the first. Maybe it just takes maybe, maybe nearly one day to get these two results. You know, but here is um, one hundred thousand batches. Yeah. It is very interesting. Isn't it the uh, uh, overfitting? The loss is almost zero, right? The loss, is, the loss is not almost zero. The loss ah. is not almost zero, but the whole, the overfitting problem is is nearly uh, it, it, it nearly do not have overfitting problem in fact mm -hmm. because the, the trick because the testing is on another step which is not uh, another another part of data set. I have said that we use one thousand and the, we, we, we use one thousand and the two hundred uh, classes to train and another four four hundred classes to test and and the text 